Hey there everybody, welcome here. My last uh, guide for remote play for the PlayStation 4 and the Mac and, and Windows 10 kind of actually did really good and I thought maybe I should finally do one for the Xbox One, even though the one for the Xbox One is kind of easy, but hey, we're gonna do this step by step. So what you need to re remote play to from the Xbox One, Xbox X, and Xbox XS, whatever, is practically just Windows 10. Uh, any Windows 10 from a tablet to a laptop to just a desktop, as long as it has Windows 10. I don't know if it requires if it's x86 or ARM. A tablet should work with, which is usually, you know, whatever, ARM. Windows 10 is all you need. From here, you want to use the Xbox app. Now, if you uninstall that due to privacy concerns, you're going to have to re-Google that to figure out how to reinstall that. Uh, what you do here is just type in Xbox, you got your Xbox app here, and then here we go. This is going to be, this is your kind of a hub for the Xbox uh, thing. This is like their, you know, Windows Vista had games for Windows. This is very similar, but a little bit spruced up. You have all your friends, your community feed. This app does need to, to, to be updated really bad. This is such a hard app. But here you have, you know, all your friends, you can message, blah, blah, blah. What you want to do is go over to connection and make sure your Xbox One is turned on. Again, it's right over here at the bottom left. Um, connects. And your Xbox should show up here. As long as it's on, as long as your Xbox One is on, uh, in standby, and on the, um, on, on the same network, you should be fine. If it doesn't show up for here, and it is on, and you know it's on the same network, what you want to do is you want to go into your settings. Well, Jesus, that just did that. That's Steam just did that. He was using the, um, the PC. On your Xbox One, you want to hit the home button. Go over to the gear on the right. Hit settings. Scroll down to network. Hit network settings. And then hit advanced settings. From here, it will tell you that you're wired or wireless. Preferably wired. But if it's wireless, there's no problem. Um... Then from here, you have your IP address. It should be 192.168.1. A random number. Uh, from here, you plug that in. Let's do uh, 192.168.1. Uh, uh, That's for me. And we should connect. And there we are. Um, you don't have to put in the IP. If you see right there, all you have to do is we can forget it right here. Connect, add a device. And from here, connect. Same thing. So from here, um, you now have kind of a little bit of a control here. Um, you can turn your your PC into a controller or your tablet or your laptop into a controller. You have full function of the tablet from here. You go left and right, um, A, B, but you can't really do much from here. Um, you can also do, you know, forget it, disconnect, make sure you connect to it all the time, disconnect. Um, I, this is my second time recording this because uh, I like bought something. Uh, you could test the stream. I don't know. I've tried this multiple times and it like really doesn't work. I don't understand why. It's just further proving that this app is actually really shitty. But from here, all you have to do is connect. Um, again, you could have multiple Xbox Ones there. You can, I think, like rename them. And you'll be brought up a prompt. Now, your Xbox One, or even your Xbox One 360 controller, will work for this. Um, from here, everything is the same. It is about a 1080p 30, and then I think it's 720p, 480p, and then, like, something lower. Uh, in the top right, you have your settings. Here's your, kind of, like, your bandwidth. What are you using? Average, your max, your last packet sent. You can have all sorts of different stuff shown. Um, you can also change, like, the resolution. You get high, um, all the way down to low. I think very high is a 1080p. But it is still 1080p 30. Uh, my experience from this game is any experience with this is, as long as the frame rate is stable, you shouldn't have a problem. Any games that have the frame rate dip, uh, you're going to get a lot of stutter in the, um, in the stream. But this is a complete package of Xbox. Uh, everything works. We can boot up Sonic Minium. Only thing that's not going to work are any kind of streaming services. 
um, you know, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, CW, YouTube, all that stuff is not going to work because of DRM, because of the um, uh, hard HDC copy protection type of stuff. But here we're going to boot up uh, Sonic Mania. Shit. God damn it. Hold on. Hold on. Totally forgot something. There we go. Playback. And there we go. There we go. We're doing it live, everybody. We're doing it live. And here it is. We got Sonic Mania. Um, but every game should work. You can play Xbox games. You can play Xbox One games. Um, Xbox 360 games. They're all backwards compatibility. Um, but yeah, this is pretty simple. Again, some games I will not recommend. Like, really fast-paced games. I wouldn't recommend Sonic Mania because you're, there's going to be some input lag. Um, it's not that bad. I've had, my friend has told me, like, hey, yeah, it's fine with UFC and, and um, Madden. As long as there's, like, a little bit of input lag, don't expect to play, like, Rock Band or Guitar Hero with this. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of cool to play this. You know, you could easily play a Destiny, say you're, you're working on your computer and you need to check out if Xur's around or, you know, uh, you want to you wanna get the latest for the hub. Well, like, like, there's a PC version. Or you want to play some Burnout Paradise uh, because you don't want to buy the PC version. Because the because the uh, 360 uh, the play, PlayStation 3 version is actually the one you want to go. Yeah, yeah, and we're still we're kind of still in the Windows thing here. You can also place it down into this other window and do other things off your screen. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it out to so your friends and family. Comment if you want more of these kind of guide videos. What the hell was that? Okay, it's signed in. Okay. And, uh... Has last signed in to another console. What the hell? That was weird. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Comment down if you want more of these. Before it starts saying... Before... Come on. Just say it. Come on. Bam, bam. Anyways, guys, see you on the next one. Bye.